Hi, my name is Professor Allison Young, and I teach in the Art History Department here at LSU. I'd like to introduce my Fall 2021 Honors course on South African Art History. If you're interested in learning more about the connections between visual art, social justice, and politics, or gaining a more nuanced understanding of African history and contemporary visual culture, this course will offer a great opportunity for you to dive deeper into those subjects. The seminar focuses on the history of art in South Africa, both during and after apartheid. This is the name for a political era marked by segregation and discriminatory policies in all aspects of life, from housing and education to work and even basic human rights. It spanned roughly half a century between 1948 all the way to 1994, which is the year when South Africa held its first democratic elections. In this class, we'll ask what we can learn about South Africans' experiences under these conditions through the lens of works of art, which can offer a view of history that transcends simple textbook narratives or chronological accounts of facts and figures. For instance, Helen Sabidi's drawings and paintings of the 1980s, in which crowds of contorted figures wrestle for compositional space, pressing their bodies desperately to the edges of the frame, can tell us a lot about the pathos surrounding the journeys undertaken by migrant workers who commuted from rural areas to cities like Johannesburg. These drawings offer a more gripping lens into the psychological pressures of apartheid than a mere account of policy and law. Marlene Dumas' intimate and haunting paintings of the same decade utilize washi paint, macabre color palettes, and loose brushstrokes to lend an intensely psychological charge to portraiture. The artist frames apartheid as a pervasive social illness that bears on the individual both physically and emotionally. And Zanelli Maholi's documentary photographs show us that visibility on the part of the queer African community is the first step towards better advocacy and social acceptance. They allow marginalized individuals to determine the conditions of their own representation. We'll start our class with a comparative view of art and literature in the early 20th century around the time that apartheid law was implemented. As we progress through this history, we'll look at topics such as photojournalism and the emergence of resistance and protest art throughout the 1980s. As we come to the end of apartheid, we'll look at how artists reflected on issues of personal and collective memory at the same time as the Truth and Reconciliation Commission gripped the nation and indeed the whole world throughout the 1990s. We'll read important texts by artists and critics who grappled with how to liberate the spheres of art and visual culture after the end of a state of emergency. And moving into the present era, we'll look at contemporary South African art through the lens of issues such as gender and sexuality, street art and urbanism, and debates about collective history waged around public monuments and national symbols. This course tackles themes that can be intense but are increasingly pressing, and my hope is that students can take this as an opportunity to gain a more nuanced and critical understanding of a range of issues surrounding identity, race and gender, history and representation as they relate to the practice of art. I hope you'll consider taking the class and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have as you consider your options for the fall semester. Thanks for listening and take care.